The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me for the Sunday readings as we prepare for this coming Sunday, the seventh Sunday after Pentecost, falling on July the 16th this year. The theme that ties the readings together, the preaching of the word of Christ bears the good fruits of faith and love. Again, the preaching of the word of Christ bears the good fruits of faith and love. Let's hear God's word together as we prepare for our worship services coming Sunday, the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Old Testament reading is from the prophet Isaiah, the 55th chapter, verses 10 through 13. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle. And it shall make a name for the Lord, an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle lesson is from Romans, the 8th chapter, verses 12 through 17. So then, brothers, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you have put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who, le- who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provide we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the gospel lesson is from St. Matthew, the 13th chapter, verses 1 through 9, and then 18 through 23. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea, and great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some feeds fell, seeds fell along the path. And the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched. And since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Hear then the parable of the sower. When when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is what was sown along the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, another sixty, and in another thirty. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The preaching of the word of Christ bears the good fruits of faith and love as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout. So the word of God accomplishes the purpose for which he speaks it, granting joy and peace through the forgiveness of sins and producing the fruits of faith and love in those who are called by his name. Christ Jesus, the incarnate word, has established the name of the Lord as an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. He opens our ears to hear, He opens our minds to understand, 
and our hearts to believe his word, lest the evil one would come and snatch it away. He thus transforms our rocky hearts into good soil, which clings to the gospel and indeed bears fruit. He himself, the first fruits of all who have received the spirit of adoption as sons, thus being led by the Spirit of God, we are not afraid, but we cry out in faith to our Father in heaven. For as we suffer with Christ, the beloved Son, so shall we also be glorified with him. Amen. We pray. Blessed Lord, since you have caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant that we may so hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We're bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.